sometimes, and this is where I guess is a good place to end on, is like we take a lot of risks and uh, we often are quite rude to our bosses yep. here. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we, we cross the line. And we always did that at the radio station as well. We, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's a lack of – it's not even a lack of respect. It's just – it's a bit of fun. It is. Can you, are you going to be rude to your bosses now? Oh, we already, we've already started. Yeah, yeah. yeah started. He, he was the on the show that, the other day. The guy that runs this place. We asked him for 50 mm. bucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's very rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, he's, called, he's called Money, Money Ryan. Ryan. Uh, and boss. that's the name we've given him, which is, you know, mm. I, I'm not, maybe it's respectful calling someone Money Ryan, you know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's quite flattering, isn't it? I mean, if you, I'd, I'd love to be called Money something. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Money so Hanson. Like quite wealthy. That's, that money that sounds hands. better. Money hey, hands. Money hands. Unfortunately, you've spent too many years at the ABC. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it doesn't do you the world of good. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, as a freelance, it's okay. If you work there full-time, you end up very wealthy, actually. Full-time. Like people mm. who are at the ABC uh, who work there a lot, I think I think they end up really quite rich. Yes. Um, but if you're a freelance, you know, who bring in bring in shows, well, yeah. then, you know... You e- get one each, payday. And you get one thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like every yeah. job Every job is one thing. Thing. And, and then, then you're the out the door. They just yeah. pay you in Omo. <laughs> yeah, or they can pay. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd take Omo. Yeah. Take Omo you know. So we were thinking, you know, we've we've we we push mm. the boundaries here, and we're messing with the show that's so much bigger than mm. us next door. We've uh, yeah. we've never had to uh, apologize, and we don't ask for permission because we've always had the philosophy: it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's mm. what we kind of do. That's how we do it. But we've never had to ask for forgiveness. Uh, you've had to apologise for things that you've done with your show yeah. uh, at the ABC and to the general public. Mm. We were wondering, you know, if you do push it, you know, and we get in trouble, what what's the best way? Because obviously you had the public mm. apology, but yeah. there must have been a few private conversations as well. What's the best way mm. to, to really get away with To apologise to your boss who has a bit of cash. Yeah. Oh, to apologise to your boss who has a bit of money. Mm. Yeah. Well, look, this is the thing, you know, apologies get judged nowadays. So now, are yes. you talking about a private apology here, though? Well, maybe Ooh. maybe both. You Give know? us both. Right. Well, the public apology, the first thing that all the social media people are going to be looking for is is to criticise your apology. Because mm-hmm. that's, you know, that's step two in the outrage cycle, mm-hmm. isn't it? Like first, first, they get very angry at you for what you've said. Mm-hmm. Secondly, they get really angry because your apology is never good enough, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the fun. That's part of the yeah. fun. I love, I love, you know, piling onto people myself. Mm-hmm. And so, Absolutely. So you're only you, human. You're, on, you're on a hiding to nothing. If, you make, if you're going to make an apology, yeah. Luke and Lewis, you're on a hiding to nothing to begin with. It's yes. never going to be good enough. Because you also piss off the people that uh, enjoyed whatever you did. Cause, they cause, don't want to see you apologise. Exactly, because yeah. that's you saying, yes. well, you shouldn't have liked that. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really yeah. apologising, yeah. unless you're really backed into a corner, is, I think is always the worst move publicly. Well, Especially it's for a joke. You should say that, you see. Yeah, well, I've been told this too, because like after we, yeah, after the, the change, we apologised for a very off colour joke, which again, in my mellow sort of middle age, I probably wouldn't, ma- wouldn't make that joke if I did that work today, but I was young and cruel at the was time. Was that the make, uh, a wish make a wish joke? One? Yeah, that's right. Was really, we, we were young and cruel, <laughs> you know. And, a sketch yeah. of like, why bother giving make a wish kids gifts? They're going to die anyway. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> so we apologised, you know. Like, you're not supposed to laugh. Which isn't funny. You shouldn't laugh. You shouldn't. And we apologised. Andrew apologised for it. Just laughing at. Uh, something else. And just how outrageous it is. It's, it's sure. a comedy of wrongness, right? It's a comedy of wrongness, you mm. know. And, and maybe you can get away with that sort of stuff. It is at, pretty at crazy pub. that they like you got to air that even. So yeah, it was weird. Well, yeah, it was the ABC but bosses. But any of those kids have, who would be offended by it, I mean, they're not going to last many months. So I I oh, now look, I'm not allowed to enjoy any of this. Right? You're yeah. apologising. You're going to be apologising. I would like yeah. to officially apologise for that joke. It was too much. You need yeah. to. It was too much. And yeah. I would just like to say the only reason why I allowed him to do the joke is because it was his wish. It was um, disgust. It was disgraceful. Yeah. Look, this is making me very uncomfortable. Right? Yeah. How many times <laughs> am I going to have to apologise for this? Yeah. But I, d- I spoke to a, to a very. There was a comedian who who we all admired a lot of Chris Morris who mm-hmm. made this show Brass Eye that we all thought was a, this yes. amazing show that had kind of, it was a bit of an influence on, on CNN and N. And I finally got to meet Chris Morris one day and he was quite annoyed at me for having apologised for that right. scare. You know, I just remember him saying, I wouldn't apologise for that. And he looked quite pissed off about it. So why um, did you apologise? Did you Did the ABC make was it you? genuine or were you made to? Yeah, you think? or are you no, even no, allowed I to think say? I, well, I think it was gen- no, it was a bit of both. I mean, it was. I think it, it caused was, a you know, lot of outrage. I it remember did. It did. as it a young a lot. person, I watched it and I laughed, and then I saw the outrage, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should be angry about this. Like I got a little bit brainwashed, and I was like, no, nah, I thought it was funny. 
Well, it just got divided views. A lot of people yeah. thought it was funny, and a lot of people didn't think it was funny. I suppose. And when you, but when you've got that many people mm. who don't think <laughs> who don't like it, yeah. you kind of got to apologise. I think you know, we, if it's just a huge number of people, mm. um, then I think you sort, of, the you sort of have to go. Uh, yeah, well, we probably we probably shouldn't have done that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. you can say in hindsight it um, wasn't a great call, but. I don't think, like, it's always so weird that people, I think, apologise for jokes because it's like, life goes on, you didn't like it, that's okay. I see some s- stuff all the time that I don't like and I just move on with my life. I suppose. It doesn't it, matter. It depends whether you feel that a joke You can, didn't can hurt be... a kid. Like, you didn't... No. No physical damage was done, mm, no, I don't think. True. No, no. Even that's, emotionally. We, even we didn't physically hurt anyone, though. No. no, even <laughs> do, emotionally. Do you think that would have been a bridge too far yeah. if we'd gone and physically... Well, it depends, <laughs> like, if it was sure. with, like, a comically large spoon. There's uh, yeah, some no, comedy in that, maybe. That's true. You could yeah. Have, yeah. I mean, maybe yeah. you could apologise, perhaps, uh, you know. to, like, a parent of a kid or the, that well, was exactly. in that. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You don't want people to feel bad <laughs> yeah. bad about your, your work. So, you? You, so you had your public um, apology. Yeah, privately, yeah. you know, what was the conversation? Privately, um, that's a good quite, quite I'm trying to remember it because it was a very chaotic time. It was a really chaotic time because the show was more popular than it should have been. It was this I think weird that was niche really show. Really at its height. I yeah, think, and, and that memory. was one of the problems. Like you know, because we also discovered, and we were a bit embarrassed to find out that that sketch that was controversial, and I, an almost identical sketch had actually been broadcast on an Australian sketch show about a year prior to that. There was a show mm. called Monster House. Um, yeah, I remember. This, show, is bring, I this is bringing me back to yeah, when all like, this stuff was yeah, happening. Yeah, I think Kate, I think maybe Kate McLennan, or I think it was somebody. Oh, maybe um, yeah, Dan I think Illich. The um, difference was they didn't show children in theirs, whereas you did. I think. Yeah, maybe they didn't, or something. And the other difference was that that show was on Foxtel and nobody watched it. Mm. You know, whereas yeah. our show was far too because po- a, a show that's dark and and has yeah. gallows humor and weird weird experimental comedy is, is not supposed to be watched by yeah. huge numbers of people, right? Yeah. And we were for some reason, which I always thought, why is this? You know, we're just it's, this niche it's show. It's because of the news. Um, like, I, like I remember like it was the thing at school to watch your show and then the next mm. day talk about it. Ha- Hamish and Andy's gap year was like that also. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. They, but they were much more, mm. uh, you know, silly and, and friendly and more mainstream than what you guys were doing. So it was a... Strange thing for a bunch of it's high school kids to watch. People it. just talked about yeah, mm, the yeah. stuff. I mean, because yeah. you would, would push it, for example, it just went that word, sketch. Of, word of mouth viral. You know, well, like it kind of did. You were doing really, it today, yeah. whether you like that sketch or not, people were talking about it. Like, mm. and that's why the show was so popular. Yeah, people, it did have it did it. have that effect. I mean, yeah. not which is, but it still ran. It, it, what what that meant was there were yes. a lot of people watching it who it wasn't really for. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. and so we. You know, but then we should have modified our thinking, perhaps. You know, and gone well if, you know, if people are getting. And of course, the other thing that happens with outrages is a lot of the people who get angry, actually haven't watched the thing. Yes. They've just heard yeah. of it. Yeah, and, and a lot of them don't like would... the thing to begin with. Well, they would never anyway, like you. You know, like, they, they wouldn't like you yeah. anyway. Yeah, and they do get. They're angry. just annoyed. I mean, we, that we know this happens. They're kind of annoyed at the ABC for just putting it to air and not necessarily yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I think, and this happens on the other side, like on both sides of the political spectrum. This happens, you know, yes. like like if if a right wing shock jock ends up being talked about for saying something outrageous. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are angry and demanding that, that his show be axed, but most of the people who are demanding that don't listen to his show anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> and don't like him to begin with. 